Overnight, Elon Musk tempering expectations as his company, SpaceX, prepares to launch Starship, its most ambitious rocket yet, into space. If we, if we get far enough away from the launch pad before something goes wrong, then I, I, I think I would consider that to be a success. Starship is the largest and most powerful rocket ever built. In a Twitter discussion Sunday, Musk noted the challenges that go along with putting the nearly 400-foot-tall vehicle into space. Got uh, 33 engines on the booster, got six engines on the upper stage of the ship. Uh, so it's a lot of engines. <laughs> it's like having a box of grenades, really big grenades. If all goes perfectly, Starship will launch from Texas and minutes later will leave the atmosphere before completing a partial lap of the planet and splashing down near Hawaii. Should all of that happen, it would be a resounding success, considering Musk is just hoping the rocket won't explode on the launch pad. It would take us uh, probably several months to rebuild the launch pad if, if we melt it. Uh, so my top hope is please may fate smile upon us and we clear the launch pad before anything goes wrong. That's all I'm asking. Musk has a lot riding on Starship. SpaceX has a multi-billion dollar contract with NASA, which has selected a variation of Starship for use in a moon landing set for 2025. But Musk has even more ambitious goals. So we've got an arduous uh, two or three years ahead of us with probably, you know, many bumps on the road. But at the end of that, it, we, we should have something that enables a base on the moon and a, a base on Mars. Unlike many previous launches, the company is not trying to recover parts of the spacecraft or even the booster. In this case, it wants the rocket stages to sink to the bottom of the ocean so that no one can retrieve the technology. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.